Looking at this image, you somehow believe to observe young people enjoying a nice summer day. But look closer. Hi and welcome to Iconic Photographs, where I present you the most impressive and important pictures that have been captured since the beginning of photojournalism. So look at this photograph. These people don't seem to care what happens not that far away. The greatest symbol of America's economy and progress burning and about to collapse. German photographer and vice president of Magnum Photo Agency Thomas Hopker took it on September 11th, 2009. He officially entitled it View from Williamsburg, Brooklyn at Manhattan. Not exactly what you would expect reading this innocent title, huh? Hepker committed himself to be publishing a photo book about the events referred to as just 9-11 just a few months after. New York, September 11 by Magnum photographers, including photographs that his staff captured that day. But it did not include this one. Hepker did not publish it until five years later when it appeared in a book and it was immediately picked up critically by media around the world. Certainly the most famous quote of all the critics was this one by New York Times columnist Frank Rich. The young people in Mr. Hopker's photo aren't necessarily callous, they're just American. Whew, quite some harsh words. Imagine you're one of the young Americans, Americans that apparently couldn't care less about the most brutal terrorist attack ever on US territory. Well, wonder no more, the couple on the right actually did reach out to the established media and cleared up the misunderstandings. Here is what Walter Sipser tells about what really happened. Walter Sipser? This guy. We were in a profound state of shock and disbelief like everyone else we encountered that day. Thomas Hepker did not ask permission to photograph us, nor did he make any attempt to ascertain our state of mind before concluding five years later that it's possible they lost people and cared, but they were not stirred by it. He instead chose to publish the photograph that allowed him to draw conclusions he wished to draw. A more honest conclusion might start by acknowledging just how easily a photograph can be manipulated especially in the advancement of one's own biases or in the service of one's own career. Quite understandable what he has to say there, assuming he's right. Furthermore, he tells us that the girl on the left is his girlfriend at that time and the other three people portrayed in the image are strangers. They started the conversation because of their state of shock by witnessing these horrible events. So was this the reason Hopker withheld the image for another five years after that September morning? Did he feel guilty about not asking the people he portrayed? I mean, somehow he casted a poor light on them intentionally. At least this was my impression of the group of people when I first looked at the photograph. They seemed to be sunbathing, having a bike trip or just enjoying life by hanging out with friends. Let's have a look at what Hepker says. Quote, we didn't need to see that then. Okay, so from what I read so far, he could have published it in the first collection of photos of 9-11, but he didn't. Somehow, I guess, he assessed it to be not yet ready to be published. People were in a state of shock and sadness about the events at that time. The image clearly shows people that do not care that much and moved on with their lives. Something that only happened years later, if it ever happened. I think he did right withholding it and having a serious debate about it some appropriate time later. Okay, after all that we learned today, despite the first idea of the image, the people he portrayed did care about what happened. But does that matter? Isn't it the interpretation of the view that counts? When it comes to visual art in general, you rarely talk to the artist about his initial intentions. And to be honest, to me the photograph still depicts people that do not care about the collapsing Twin Towers. What do you think? And if you are American, do you think about that differently than I do as someone that only remembers the TV reports from a country which is quite far away? Thousands and thousands of photographs have been published that capture the horrific events of 9-11. And this is certainly not the only one that's stuck in our head. If you want to see my future episode on The Falling Man, do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and always remember, bring your camera, because it captures even the shortest moment for a lifetime.